this is my channel natasha tech subscribe now for upcoming videos with your support growing up my channel and thank you for watching this hello friends today we are going to be looking into rest api automation part 5 in this session we are going to be find answer for how to pass api key as query params in rest assure trust in postman for accessing this request url i am passing api key and value under this param section right so like that way how i can pass api key and value in params using rest assure in scriptable i am going to be tell you practical manner let's come before that i tell you for accessing the request url how we can generate the api key in request website url you can open this website which is data.government.in so i log in successfully because already i done my registration and as well as i generated my api key so here go to help option in footer page if uh, if you uh, newly register uh, your account in this application that time uh, you can go follow this uh, steps okay after click on help you can go to click on how to use data sets api here it will give you uh, the procedure how we can generate the api key click on my account so this all the steps will give you clearly with picture okay so now i'm going to be click on my account option here you can see the api key already i generated i just copy this api key now i'm going to be tell you how can pass api key and value inside rest assure trust open eclipse i'm going to be create class under api testing.com the class name is api key generate i'm going to be create method api key define annotation test annotation so first we have to give url request url right string url i'm going to be store inside string url so what is the url so this is the url right i'm going to be copy the whole url but in this url what i'm going to be do i'm going to be remove the parameter key and value part no need to required for passing uh, inside url part inside rest assure test now i'm going to be remove this part okay not required now i'm going to be copy the specific url only without uh, para uh, parameter okay so next request specification request specification http request equal to rest assure dot given so given so what are the value you have to pass here for that we have to uh, use given method okay next put dot so here uh, which part we are going to be pass the value under this authorization or headers or body here we under this parameter section only we are going to be pass api key value right so now i'm going to be use query param so for passing key and value inside parameter section that time we can use query param method okay so here what is the parameter name which is key api key what is the parameter value so already i told you where have to take on this parameter uh, the api key value inside this application right so i'm going to be take the same api key here paste so now i'm going to be use response response equal to http request 
here I am going to be get that uh, request URL. Next, I am going to be <coughs> get status code response dot get status code. Next, I am going to be get a response body. So, what string we are getting in response? So, response dot a string. Okay, now I am going to be print those value status code status code next is response body response body so let's see what is the output we are getting for this test okay run as test ng test proceed it has passed successfully let's see so this is the response body we are getting let's see what is the output notepad plus plus see real time air quality index already i told you right this is the value we are going to be verified so this is the response body we are getting and the response the status code also 200 so this is the way we have to pass api key using query param method okay in refresh test